Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we just got our Tallmark metal detector MD830. So we bought this on Amazon. We'll put a link in the uh, video for you if you're interested after you see the video on this to purchase it. We, um, we're going to use this on our new property that we just purchased to locate the uh, survey marker pins that are out on the property. There's um, It's about 21 acres out there and we're gonna have to try and find the the uh, boundaries of the property from an old survey so we thought we try out this Talmark MD 830 metal detector so uh, let's get to it Now we chose this one because it's got a backlit screen and it seemed pretty simple to use. And since I'm a simple guy, I thought the simpler the better. So let's see what we got. So we got the user manual. Let me put that over there. It comes with a bag. Comes with a control head. Like I said, backlit screen. Comes with an adjustable pole. And the hand wand. This is kind of cool. I saw this when I was looking at it. Comes with like this little shovel that unfolds. Like the army shovels you had as a kid. So we'll see how that looks. So I guess this is actually going to be a video about assembling this. And then uh, we'll probably go out. I mean, it comes with the batteries too. We'll go out into the property and see if we can locate those those pin markers. And I guess it'll be a uh, little video on the performance of this thing as well. It comes with a headset. And there's your arm holder and a 10 inch wand with cord that's the business end of this thing so let's see how we put it together let's take a look at the instructions see how simple these are okay assembly your detector is easy no special tools insert the coil cable plug into the five pin jack connected with the S stem. Sheath the lower stem on the S stem and secure with a fixing knob. All right, I think, I think we'll just put this thing together. Doesn't look like it's all that complicated. I was never one to really want to wait around to follow the instructions. So we'll just wait and see if we get stuck. certainly pretty lightweight it's got some plastic parts it's got some metal parts it just brackets metal the bolts plastic shaft is metal fittings plastic it's nuts plastic It's got a nice adjustable pole. Nice.
Now well, here's the headphones. Plastic. Some rubber. Not the most impressive headphones I've ever seen, in my opinion. Okay, well, we're almost done with the setup. Put some batteries in this thing. Check out the bag. A strap with it. Yeah. That's pretty good. Is there a little shovel? Oh, nice. A little zipper bag, a zipper pouch. That's for your shovel. Nice. Shovel goes there. And the rest of the unit comes in here. There's anything on the other side. Just a hook for your uh, strap. Hard to do this one handed. Let's check it out. That's nice. You know, the bag's not bad. I mean, it's not, let's say it's medium quality bag, you know, it's, it's fabric, not like it's cheap plastic or something. You know, it's got spots for everything to hook in. Let's see how the, um, how the unit actually fits in this bag. Carry it over your shoulder. It's backwards. There we go. So we'll try to figure this out together. Let's see. I think you're supposed to start with hitting the set button. And once you do that, you can then determine your sensitivity. So I'll turn the sensitivity down so it's not hitting on every single thing. And then you can then go through and pick which metal you're trying to look for by scrolling with the arrows, which is pretty cool. Okay. So like, we're probably going to go out later on and we're going to look for iron. So let's uh, see if we can set that. I hit the mode button for that. Okay. So now we set the sensitivity. We set what we're looking for, which is iron. And what's next? Oh, volume. So we can turn the volume up and turn the volume down. Okay, that seems good. And there's the sensitivity again. Okay, so I press enter. And that should be stored. Let's see. 
turn it off. Okay, cool. So it's stored. So it's the sensitivity is in the middle of the road. It shows you your battery, your volume. It'll tell you the depth if you push this PP, which is pinpoint. So once you find an object, you're supposed to pass it back and forth over the top of it and hit uh, PP and hold that button. And then that will uh, then tell you the depth. Do it two or three times. will give you the most accurate depth. I mean, it uh, it's pretty comfortable. You know, you can hold on to it. It's, you know, got a nice little rest on your arm. So, yeah, we'll give it a shot. Stay tuned.